We do have some troubling words coming uh, this evening, at least our time, from the Russian defense minister, Frederica. He's saying, this was in a call with the French de uh, defense minister, that the Russians fear what they call a further uncontrolled escalation of this conflict and even accuse Kiev, so the Ukrainians, of allegedly plotting to, uh, plotting to use a dirty bomb, as he put it, uh, in this conflict. Obviously, the Ukrainians have always said that that is certainly very much out of the question. It's been the Russians so far that have been threatening to use nuclear weapons. The Ukrainians, of course, do not even possess nuclear weapons, Frederica. Mm, all right. Uh, Fred Plaikin, thank you so much. I mean, extraordinary view of just the innovation uh, of these Ukrainians. Thank you so much. All right, I want to bring in now Bill Browder. He is the founder and CEO of Hermitage Capital Management and heads the global Magnitsky Justice Campaign. Uh, so good to see you, Bill. We'll ask you about the dirty uh, bomb talk in a moment. But, you know, first I also want to ask you about Russia's defense minister today accusing Ukraine of barreling toward uncontrolled escalation. What do you believe is behind that rhetoric and what does that kind of rhetoric really lead to or mean? Well, I mean, so I mean, Russia is the one who started this war. This is Putin's war. Right. Um, nobody else wanted this war. Um, they've invaded Ukraine. They've they've declared parts of Ukraine to be their territory. There's only one party that's barreling towards uncontrolled escalation, and that's Russia. They could withdraw, be done with it, um, and there would be no more problem. That this is a complete, you know, the, the Russians always accuse the other side of doing what they're doing, and that's what this rhetoric is all about right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's that reverse psychology. I mean, that official also, you know, stating that Moscow was concerned that Ukraine could use a dirty bomb. So here, you know, again, uh, lies, is this really what the Russians might be planning as opposed to um, Ukraine? We just heard, you know, they talked about in Fred's piece, they don't even have the materials for such a thing, Ukrainians. Well, so, so th this is a very ominous um, threat that the Russians are making. We all know that the Ukrainians wouldn't use a dirty bomb. But what the Russians have done on numerous occasions is done this type of thing, blamed it on their enemies, and then retaliated. And so what I could imagine happening here, and this is not an unreasonable analysis, is that Russia will use a dirty bomb on their own territory, blame it on Ukraine, mm -hmm and then retaliate with nuclear weapons. That, that They've done this type of thing, not with nuclear material, but in other ways before. This is absolute standard operating procedure of Vladimir Putin and his government. Yeah, pushing the dirty war uh, playing tactics. So uh, Russia is battering Ukraine's power grid just in time for these harsh winter months. They're causing rolling blackouts, widespread internet outages, and shutting off water. And Ukraine appears to be, you know, facing a dark, uh, freezing winter after its gains last month. So that Russia would target that kind of in infrastructure, uh, targeting civilians in that way. Is this a sign of desperation or really is this, you know, a page out of the dirty war playbook that Russia has been um, executing? Um, this is both. So um, Russia's losing this war on the battlefield. Uh, Russia's lost, according to Ukraine, uh, Ukrainian sources, about 67,000 soldiers. They've been pushed out of uh, a lot of territory, and they're going to be pushed out of more territory in the near future. Um, they're they're um, replenishing their soldiers with, with untrained recruits straight off the streets with one week or 10 days of training mm -hmm. who are dying en masse. And, um, and so the only thing Russia knows how to do is, you know, sort of a uh, you know, shoot, shoot civilian targets. And this is what they've done with Chechnya, is what they did with Syria. Um, uh, and uh, it's an asymmetric uh, fight because um, we, the West or, or Ukraine can't do the same thing to Russia. And their hope is to freeze Ukraine this winter. And, and a lot of these big cities in Ukraine are these tall apartment buildings. And if you have no electricity, you can't get up to the 10th floor. You can't, you have no heat, um, you have no water. Um, and it becomes almost uninhabitable. And so um, I suspect that the outcome of this will, to, will create another 5 million refugees coming into Europe. And, and Putin's hope is by keeping gas prices high, creating more refugees, and, and creating all this mayhem, he will break our will to support Ukraine. And, and um, that's the purpose of all this. Yeah.